Hello everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a little bit cloudy today, but I'm sure you can still spend some time outside and see if you can get your camera, if you've got one, and go and find an eagle to take a photo of. Can you see any eagles flying in the sky? No. I saw a massive crow this morning though. That was the closest big bird that I saw this morning. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to make a flying eagle. And you are going to your mom's and dad's. I've got templates to work with. And we are going to make, you're going to trace your hands for the wings. You're going to have a beak, a head, an eye, talons, tail, feathers, and a body. So what we're going to do is we use these colors. Um, if you don't have a color card or paper, you can just color it in the beak yellow and the claws or talons um, yellow as well and the rest of the body brown and the head white and the eye stays just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is Grace found a feather in the park next door to our, to our house. And can you guess which bird this feather belongs to on the count of three i want you to shout the bird out one two three yes oh gosh you're very noisy today it is a guinea fowl feather well done can you see all the spots isn't it beautiful wow so you're going to find a feather because we didn't have feathers in our craft box but we went to see found one on the field and I'm sure there's plenty around. If you don't have a feather, then you can use anything. You can use a leaf, just something different to paint with. So Grace is going to paint the body. It's not very big, it's a small body. She's gonna dip it in the paint and she's gonna hold it a little bit and she's just gonna paint little, little bits all over. There's so many different ways. You can use the feather, the point bit or the side. Or anywhere, yeah, that looks really good. Keep going. And at the bottom. Okay, you don't have to totally cover the page at the body in, in brown. You can do little bits. There you go. Can you hear that sizzling noise? My son is cooking chicken for his lunch. And chickens also have feathers. Okay, Ben, can you say hi to everybody? Hello. There we go. There's the chicken, but he's taken the feathers off. All right. Okay, so now that's perfect. So now what we're going to do, let's move that paint out the way. Now we are going to start sticking um, our body on. I think first we'll do the head because then that can dry a little bit. Yeah, put it on the side. Okay, so move that down. Okay, and stick the body. There we go. And while Grace is sticking the body and the eye and the beak, I am going to show you this is an American bald eagle. And they live in mountains and forests all over the world, actually. And the American bald eagle has white feathers on its head, just like this eagle that we're doing. We're doing an American bald eagle because it's got white a white head. And it says that the wingspan, that is the measurement, if it opens its wings out, both wings on each side of its body out it can it can measure up to two and a half meters that's very very wide that is the length of a door so if you took your door off the door frame and you put it on the ground that's how wide that's just amazing okay so keep going grace we've stuck the head and the beak and let's just put a little bit of glue there then we can just stick that on and we'll just kind of tuck it in when you stick it. Okay. While you're sticking the body on, I'll just show them here. Yeah, this is a golden eagle. Sure, he looks quite scary actually. 
Okay, and they've got very good eyesight. They can spot their prey from a very far distance. Okay, that's it. Just make it straight. Yeah. There you go. Okay, and then you're sticking the tail feather also underneath. Do that like that for now. Okay, put some glue on the on his claws. Oh, not claws, sorry, talons. Talons are much bigger than claws. They're very, very strong because they pick up birds of other birds of prey and well other smaller birds and mice and rabbits and any any small creature. Yeah, there you go. So they have to be super super strong and thick thick claws. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stick the wings on. Which is your hands. How unique is that? That one goes there. Right close to the body. And then that one goes there. That's it, perfect. Sure. That is such a super cool picture. I hope you've all enjoyed making your pictures. And I hope you're finding somewhere special to put your pictures up. And just change them every week. That would be really cool. Right, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you spot an eagle, let me know. Bye.